MitraClip is a technology that really was initiated to help people who were either inoperable or very high risk for operation for severe mitral valve insufficiency. So to better understand what mitral insufficiency is, particularly in these patients that the MitraClip applies to, oftentimes they're in a circumstance where the, the annulus or the support system of the mitral valve is stretched out. If you'll take this door, for instance, the anterior leaflet is the larger leaflet or the larger portion of this door. The posterior leaflet is the smaller portion of this door uh, or the smaller portion of the valve. The support structure is the door frame. So oftentimes the door frame is stretched out so that the, the valve won't open and close normally and it doesn't come together. So it allows all this blood to go the wrong direction in the heart. So what the mitral clip does is it grasps the door about the door handle so it can still open. You have two doors now, but yet it functions normally and it doesn't leak back into the atrium or the wrong way in the heart. By color doppler, we were able to identify what direction of the blood flow is going. And as we can see here, the mitral is supposed to be competent and close, not allow the blood flow from the ventricle back to the atrium. This color flow, this flame that you can see all the way here, the jet that is coming back is abnormal. Now in this view with color doppler, we can barely see any color going a little bit next to the mitral clip and the pictures and the color, even for somebody who is not an expert, you can see a difference in color before and after the valve has been repaired. The uh, mitral clip procedure uh, involves uh, access in a, a big vein that runs in the leg, and this vein uh, runs all the way to the heart on the right side. Through that axis, we put big catheters that go across through the wall of the uh, upper part of the heart, across to the left side, and into the top of the mitral valve. And uh, with that position, we can deploy the clip using the standard techniques and uh, mobile catheter that we can torque from outside. This device can clip the two leaflets of the mitral valve and decrease the amount of leaking in the valve when placed in that position. The mitral clip procedure at this point would require at least five or six people. There's an anesthesiologist. Uh, we have usually an echo sonographer to show us views with the transesophageal echocardiogram. We have two cardiologists at the table, especially when you're putting the device in and pulling it out. That's usually a two-person procedure. And then we have one or two uh, cath lab techs who are running around, uh, or nurses, and they're helping prep the device and the things that we need to help get the procedure done. Patients with leakage in mitral valves end up with congestive heart failure when the leakage gets severe. And these were the patients that we were seeing in the hospital coming over every month with recurrent hospitalizations for congestive heart failure. And since we've started doing uh, these mitral clip procedures, a lot of these patients, they have not been hospitalized for over a year or longer. That they're doing actually very well. Some of the patients have gone back and they're playing golf and uh, are being very active and uh, having a much better functional quality of life.